Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have an activity for the children from the age of eight, uh, 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, doesn't matter, any children can do it of any age. It all depends upon how they're going to do it. So what do we need for that? We need some colored dough. So I've got over here orange dough, green, pink, yellow. You can take any color you want and purple. And you need a rolling pin along with that. And you need a cutter just to cut out to give shapes. That's all that you need for the first part of the activity. Now for the second part of the activity, what do we need? We need some cutters. You can take any cookie cutters if you don't have. You can take your glass or a board or anything. And we need certain things to make an impression. So we can use a fork, we can use a key, anything that you find around the house where you can press it down and form an impression. Now this is a very you know, good activity for the children, for their muscular movement, for the gross motor movement, for their creativity. And it can be done with everything that's available in the house. You see, I had bought this uh, dough set and it says super light, super elastic, super bright and it was super bad because it was like rubber, like foam and it was horrible. So what I did, I made my own dough. So I took some watercolor and I took some refined flour and I made this dough with that watercolor and flour. So you can make it at home. And the trick is, after you've made it and your child has played with it, just put a little oil and put it, you know, inside, uh, cover it up with the foil paper and refrigerate it. Keep it in the fr fridge and whenever you need it, you take it out. I think it lasts you for about a week before, it's get, before it gets bad. So you can do this in the house. So let's get started with the activity. So let's take some yellow dough and roll it out and then we are going to cut it in a circle shape. I don't have a circular cutter so I'm going to use a bowl. You need to press the bowl hard and here, here we have the circle. Now we are going to make a sun. So what is the next thing we need to do? We need to make the sun's rays and we can continue to make the rest now this is a very easy thing for the children to make parents can help them they can do this within their palms between their palms or they can roll it on the table they can do anything and this is an excellent gross motor exercise for the children this is going to increase their creativity they may want to make different things more Something different different from what you're telling them. It doesn't matter. It may not even look like what they're saying. But just being creative, creative is good enough. Now this is a sun. So I hope you liked it. Let's take pink dough. So what do you think we can do with the pink dough? With the pink dough, we are going to cut out small circles and we are going to make it into a flower I think this looks beautiful but now we need to make the stem and the leaf so let's roll out some green dough for the stem and just place it. Now we need the leaf. Now we can just press the leaf between our fingers just to give it a shape. And then we are going to cut it. Not cut it, just give impressions of the leaf. So wow, that's a beautiful flower. Now let's make something else. So we can just shift this flower this side. It's very easy to shift it also. Yeah, and let's do the next item. I think I'm going to make an ice cream, corn ice cream. So 
wow delicious ice cream is ready and I'll make one more thing for you the last thing so I have a lot of purple dough left so what do I do with the purple dough can you think of something we can make with purple dough so let's start and let me see if you can guess what I'm making now children of any age can do this whether he's like one year or five years or eight years children will love to do this they love to be creative Here we are done. So let your children do this. They're going to have a lot of fun. And this is an excellent exercise for the children. All gross motor movement, all this, doing this. It's really good. The muscles of the hands are going to strengthen and they'll be able to hold a pencil, a crayon properly and write. So this is extremely important. This is a very useful activity and it's also very creative. Now for the second part of this activity, we are going to take a dough, any dough you want and we are going to roll the dough. Press it hard, only then it's going to cut. This has just come through. To push it. And we have a pretty little teddy bear. We're going to apply force so that they can make stronger strokes while writing. So here we have the penguin. So this is really pretty. So we'll remove these cutters and what else can we do now? Let's see. So we are going to take another color. So let's take pink color. Let's see what do we have. I have some things I've just picked up, you know, just looking around the house. So I have tiger here and I have Jesus here Jesus Christ so let's see if I can put this mold put this inside the mold do I get an impression now let's take it out and see what do we have wow so here we have a tiger if you want you can cut out the rest to give it a shape if your children are bigger children will love to see the sudden impression that is there on their door so here we have Jesus Christ now you can pick up random things from your house to do this. So I took a fork also. Here we have a fork. Let's see what I can do with the fork. You can teach them colors. You can tell them get the purple dough, get the pink dough. Make a pink Jesus, make a pink tiger, get an impression of the fork on the orange dough and so on. So we continue like this with all the household items that we have and we can keep on making impressions.
so that's it and you can let your imagination go wild and use anything that's available in the house and just have fun with the dough and any age group of children can do this from 1 years to 6 7 8 9 10 years it doesn't matter the elder the child the more creative and you know he can think of many more things and he can do it so that's it this is it for our second part of this lesson i hope you found this activity interesting and if you liked my video please hit the like button and share it with all your friends and family and subscribe to my channel i will come back with more activities with dough with colored dough is there anything that you do with your child with the dough do let me know so bye bye see you